leather jacket and the same shirt as yesterday. Don't judge me and pants, but you couldn't see those, so I was gonna keep it a secret. Yeah, but I've ratted you out. <laughs> Anyway, we're going shopping today for Christmas stuff, and Monica and Shelby are actually meeting us at the mall that we normally go to by the our Monica area. Monica and the Shelby. The sheep and the Shelby, actually. Um, so yeah, Shelby we're gonna see them very Shelby shortly, Shelby. and we're gonna Shelby. shop for Christmas stuff. Because, of course, knowing us weeder finches, it is two days before Christmas, and we don't have anything, probably. Grayson has some stuff, so good for you. I have to get I'm stuff on top of stuff. I just I also have to get stuff for my bosses and I need your help knowing like what's good and appropriate But I think I was gonna think of doing like a parody gift like I get them like Sorry, face masks and do like my beauty routine Here's for you to try it to relax because you work so hard So anyway, okay. Hello humans. It's been a long time since I said anything. I'm so sorry I went to the mall with Grayson and met up with Monica Shelby and their sister Vanessa but like, I didn't vlog anything in there because you guys, it was a madhouse at the mall. Like everyone was doing last minute Christmas shopping and I was holding a million bags in my purse and I just could not, I just couldn't. So I'm sorry, but it was really fun and we got like a ton of stuff. I clearly went all out. That was only like half of the stuff. But yeah, and then I ran into my friend Steven who went to my high school with me and we shopped for a while. He came with my brother and I and we all helped each other like get gifts for our parents because you know when it's like hard to find gifts for parents and people like that where you're like, well, I don't know. So that's what we did. It was great. I think I might show you what I got everyone because that would be kind of fun, like a little Christmas gift haul instead of what I got, stuff that I got people. Maybe it will give you guys ideas for some last minute things to get your families. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. Grayson is unpacking his groceries and he got some salad stuff, some soup stuff, some mushrooms. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, some baby corn. And some bean sprouts. Oh, so this is all salad stuff. Cool. Awesome. I might make myself a little snack. I feel like I just ate, I had a world, a world wrap at world wraps in the mall. Um, but yeah, I still sound like I have a cold kind of, but I feel a lot better. Do you think I sound like I have a cold? G? Uh, no. No, okay. Sorry that you're talking to them, whoever they are. <laughs> Leave me a comment below letting me know if you think I sound like I have a cold. Also, let's check out my mom's cute Christmas decorations. So here's the tree which has no ornaments on it. But yeah, anyway, my mom decorated with all of these nutcrackers. It's a tradition every year to get a new nutcracker. So we have like a million, there's the big one. And we have another mini little tree with some musical instrument ornaments. And this is our advent calendar. I need to open Oh, I guess Grayson opened it for today. What did we get? Confetti candle. What? Oh, you light it and it pops. Like a firework. Oh, that's kind of sketchy. Should we do them now? No. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I got for my family. So let's do it. So for my mom, I got these cute booties from BP. They're like brown with some little rustic little, I don't know what to call it, like wearing down. I don't know, whatever. They're super cute. I'm not sure my mom will like dig the color or the style because it's hard to like estimate with moms. I just don't know. But I got them for her. She can always take them back and like get whatever. So I thought these are actually super cute. I could definitely have these for my own. So also for my mom, I got her a watch, but like I don't have that. This is just what I got from the mall today. So this isn't like everything for everyone. It's just the stuff I got today. For my dad, I got this. Seattle Seahawks like grill spatula grill thing with a beer opener He obviously has a bunch of stuff like this probably but this one's super cool because it has like the Seahawk on it Which is awesome, and it's just cool and sportsy and like super dad like so I think this will be cool I also got him a Seahawks Sweatshirt because if you don't know I'm obviously from Seattle duh you should know that and um the Seahawks are big, they're really good, so I got him this. The one thing is, he, I have never really seen him wear like hoodies, so I don't know if he'll like it, but you know what, he can again, take it back. That's the beauty of things like this. I figure if you don't know what to get, at least try picking something out because it's the thought that counts, the effort of actually going somewhere and picking something you think they'd like, and then they can always take it back and get something else. So, that's what I got for my dad. So my brother and I did this thing where we like kind of picked out what we wanted. 
So my brother found this awesome Star Wars t-shirt from this store called Uniglow. It used to only be in New York. Now they have one in LA and Seattle and probably other places. So this is like a super cool Star Wars shirt. It's perfect. We just saw Star, Star Wars last night. I kind of want one. And then he also has this gray blazer. It's like comfy sweater material kind of, but it's like the shape of a blazer. So super cool for dads. Um, this is also from Uniqlo. If you're trying to look for presents for like a brother or a dad, go to Uniqlo. It's everything basic, like staple items, but really cool and also and cheap. So yeah. Um, so that's what I got there. Then I went to this super cool like store called Fuego. It's one of those stores kind of like the front of Urban Outfitters where they have all those like weird quirky books and stuff like that, little gifts. So we found some awesome stuff there. So I got this book. This book says go the beep to sleep it's funny it's like a joke on the book good night moon i think it's super funny you have to read it but it's like i'll read you the first page the cats nestle close to their kittens the lambs have laid down with the sheep you're cozy and warm in your bed my dear but please go the f to sleep i got this um 2016 daily calendar and it's called what's your poo telling you it's like a little gag gift so it's one of those ones you peel off every day of the year and it tells you something about your poop so that's fun. On that note, also my brother found this one. It's 365 facts that will scare the shit out of you. So this is also a daily calendar. You rip off the pages, super cute, funny, whatever. Here's an example. It says, fact, in general, a picnic table contains more germs than a porta potty. That is disgusting. So yeah, fun fact. These were like $15, by the way. If you find like little cute gag gifts, they can be really fun for people. So. I wouldn't exactly call them cute, but you know, whatever. Then I got my mom this little kitchen towel that's just cool and it says, to relieve stress, we do yoga. Just kidding, we drink wine in our yoga pants. Pretty much describes our relationship. I'm wearing yoga pants now. Yoga has not been done today, so that's funny. That's for my mom. And then I got her also this pair of socks. It says, I'm going to get shit done. And then at the bottom it says later, which is also kind of the story of both of our lives. Very last minute on a bunch of things. So yeah, that is what I got. Did I get anything else? I feel like that was not a lot. Huh, okay, no, that's it. Okay, that's what I got and that's really all and I'll talk to you later. Okay, I didn't end up doing anything else the rest of the night. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Subscribe, like, and I'll see you tomorrow. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. See you later. You're the best. Love yourself no matter what. Not just quoting Justin Bieber, it's a true fact. And you see the tree? Goodbye. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe.